Hello friends. I'm sure most of you will recognize what this is. A rubber powered model aircraft. That's right. A very primitive way of powering the model aircraft about 80 or 90 years ago when the aero modeling was first introduced. This was the only way to spin the propeller. But later on quite fast the development took place and then came this that is a internal combustion engines just like a real engine and with a lot of power in it and in the present days now these have come up those are the electric motors very powerful motors and uh, most of the aero modeling and the aero modelers know these two things as a result of that the rubber power models have almost been forgotten except for some elementary toys myself too was not very much attracted to the rubber power model uh, in my young days but very recently that is to say maybe about 7 8 years ago when i came across the category internationally known as the f1 d class rubber powered models i was just amazed let me tell you not just amazed i was shocked because this category of aircraft when i read about it i learned that uh, the model aircrafts are under the 3 grams of weight and with a single rubber loop they are capable of flying for over 20 minutes just amazing and the world record unbelievable 61 minutes of the non stop flight it's really crazy just crazy but uh, when i read about it i just fell for that i started collecting more and more information about it and the purpose of this video is exactly that to share with you all these details and possibly invite you to this very attractive and highly intellectual hobby in addition to the pleasure of flying and the satisfaction of making this activity gives you many things you understand the physics quite well you start understanding geometry the structural engineering also how to manage the power of the rubber as well as the aerodynamics the design of the propeller many things whenever such a new thing is started everybody worries first about the expenditure how much money will be spent on such an activity this activity is quite a low cost activity because it is done with all the ordinary things so uh, uh, just to give you some comparison whatever is the amount of money that one will spend on one remote control models set perhaps that will be your lifetime expenditure for this type of the activity so it's quite low cost activity now the second thing is that the materials are simple you can see here that all the tools that you need are something like the pliers then cutters the scissors sanding block the ordinary clamps which we are using in the household the pins heavy call heavy quick few coins geometry box nothing very special all the ordinary things are there the materials also are easily available the important is the balsa wood this is the balsa wood then you have to make use of the very lightweight tissue so this is some lightweight tissue you are using and then this is some special type of the rubber so the this material is also quite simple easy to obtain and will be available the next one is a bit tricky because it is strictly personal what you need after this is the amount of hand skill and the patience now how much time you will take to develop that really is personal some may take more time some can grasp it very fast but one thing is there that though a bit complicated it is attainable it is not impossible so you should give a try and unless and until there is some challenge what is the point in making the simple things isn't it so it is challenging but you get the best results 
when you accept the challenge how to start with this that's the next question you have to start with some very simple type of the models something like this or when that model is made it looks something like this where the important aspect is the molded propeller because initially you can't make your own propeller so you have to make use of some ready made propeller and the ready made material so you can begin with the ready made kit something like this which weighs within 8 to 15 grams or so the next stage is uh, making this type of the models you will see that this is also a very tiny model but where a very lightweight tissue is used and i will <coughs> draw your attention to the propeller which is made the propeller is also made by you that means it is done manually and it is a very lightweight balsa wood propeller the similar model now the weight of this model here is about 3.37 grams so it is slightly above the requirement of the f1d class model but the same design of the aircraft when it is covered with ultra thin film the weight of this model comes to 2.32 grams so the meaning is that that this is the f1d type of the model and here a sheet propeller that is called as a paddle propeller is made and once you master the technique of making and flying these you can come to the real f1d which looks something like this so you can see the model is really very very lightweight but i will draw your attention to the propeller here the propeller also is constructed like the wing and the geometry of the propeller has to be properly taken care of so this is a really skillful task and this is the type of the models they fly in the f1d type of the contests you want to see how they do it let us have a look So, how did you find a clip? Isn't it amazing? We are organizing now a competition and that will be perhaps your first step towards making a really scientific and properly designed perfect model aircraft powered by the rubber. It will be this type of the aircraft you will be flying and I invite you to participate in this competition and feel the thrill 
and the pleasure of making a scientifically correct international quality rubber model aircraft do give it a try i'm sure you will enjoy it for books by mr madhav khare visit www.rotsnaprakashan.com for many other products from paper gliders up to remote control planes exhibitions workshops lectures etc visit www.elerios.in or write to elerios.aeroclub@gmail.com at